everybody, my name is Gavin Dickerson and we are back on our YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about a board game I got a couple, like a week ago I think, I forgot, but it, I forgot when I got it, but I have it right here with me, it's called, it's called, um, One, One Night Ultimate Werewolf. Um, it's a pretty fun game, I really like it, I don't know why this one's upside down, but it just is, um, so first I'm going to talk to you about the One Night Ultimate Werewolf actual game. One Night Ultimate Werewolf is a fa- I'll just have you guys- Do we fix it here? Let me fix this really fast. I'm going to pull this out to show you guys in a minute. So, One Night Ultimate Werewolf is a- Fast game for three to ten players, where everyone gets a roll. One of you, one of the dastardly werewolves, the tricky troublemaker, and the help, helpful seer, or, or one of a dozen different characters, each with a special ability. In the course of a single morning, your village will decide who is a werewolf because it all it takes is finding one werewolf to win. Because it's so fast, fun, and engaging, you want to play it again and again. And no two games are ever the same. A dozen unique rolls on 16 thick, sturdy tiles, 16 tokens, a getting started guide, and a comprehensive rule book with detailed rule descriptions. So I'm going to show you each of them. I'm sorry I didn't have this ready before. I didn't know what we were going to talk about. So I thought my cousin was going to help me with this YouTube video, but she didn't get to help me because she's out um, getting a manicure. I know that sounds like, sounds like so serious. Like, okay, girls, I'm going to go take it, have like a manicure. So yeah. Oh, I'm kidding. My little cousin's watching this. Hi. Sorry, I didn't get to do a video with you. I promise I'll do a video with you sometime later on. I'll let you boom. Oof. I'll show you all the cards. There's a lot. You can see there's a lot of cards. Um, for our first card is a drunk. The drunk. Uh, a drunk is so drunk that he doesn't remember his role. When it comes time to wake up at night, he must exchange his drunk card he, for any card in the center, but he does not look at it. The drunk is now the new role in front of him, even though he does not know what his new role is and is on that team. So what's going to happen? So what happens at the beginning of the game? Because now people are going to be like, oh, what does it mean by in the middle of the night? Well, it's, well it says... Is. So say if you're playing with all the cards, and I'll show you all the cards in a minute, but say if you're playing, okay, so you're playing the game, and blah, 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 you're playing the game, and you, you can get the app called One Night Ultimate Werewolf, and that's why this game's like $10, $15 on Amazon, so if you like the game after I'm done, first subscribe, and then do it, and then buy the app, and then buy the game. So first, if you have the doppelganger here, the doppelganger looks like this. She looks kind of like an avatar girl. What's the doppelganger? So that's the words are backwards, by the way. The words are like, if it looks like, or whatever. If it looks like that, I'm sorry. So, okay, it'll go, everybody, close your eyes. Doppelganger, wake up and look at another player's card. You are now that role. If you are new, if your new role has a night option, do it now. Doppelganger, close your eyes. If there's a minion, and the minion looks like... Sorry, I'm not ready. It's, um, it's going to be a little bit longer video, because I'm showing you all the cuts. This is the minion. And the minion's goal... The minion and the werewolf... There are two werewolves, but I'll just show you one. The werewolf and the minion work together. So, the minion actually wants to die. The, ne the other person that wants to die is the tanner. And the tanner wants to die for a funny reason. The tanner wants to die because he hates his job. They could kill themselves just because they don't like their job. Why don't you just get a new job, tanner? Gosh. So, these are the two people that want to die. They want the tanner to die. They want the minion to die and the tanner to die. So there you go. You can see him. Uh, the tanner just wants to die because he hates his job. 
minion wants to die. So, so say if, say if I'm the minion and my buddy over there is the werewolf. It'll say, Minion, wake up! Werewolf, stick on your thumb so the minion can see who you are. Werewolf, put your thumbs away. Minions, close your eyes. So the minion will wake up, but everybody has their eyes closed, so you, they don't like know who the minion is. So. so the minion will wake up, and he'll look at the he'll look for thumbs with werewolves. If there's no werewolves, he just knows it's gonna be in the middle. But in any purpose, you get like these little tokens, like these. You get these. You get every card has a token, so you get it like a token. So say I'm the minion. I'll lay my token with the cards, so people think, oh, he's telling us he's the werewolf. That's like that. But you want to give it like so. Say you are the minion, or you are the tanner. You don't want to just be like, yep, I'm a werewolf. Because werewolves won't even give it away that easily. You would actually want to, so, um, so let's see here. Let's look for the drunk, wake up, exchange your card with, card from the center. Drunk, close your eyes. So that, so it kind that's what it, that's. I mean, the tanner. Okay, so sorry if that's a little messed up, but but if you do get the game, but you don't, but if you don't get it the app, you'll get this app booklet. It'll tell you one about the character. It'll tell you about the characters. There's a doppelganger, two werewolves, a minion, two masons, a seer, a robber, a troublemaker, a drunk, an insomniac, a hunter, a tanner, and three villagers. And I don't know why, but all the villagers are guys. You see that? Here are the villagers, these three right there. They're all guys. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, and I'm going to read you each of what they do. A doppelganger is a fairly complicated. Okay, so you saw the doppelganger. I can't show you all the cards because that'd be hard because I'd be like searching through. And that's why I said I'm sorry. Um, yeah. And that's why I was like thinking about this today. After I get a hundred subscribers, I'm gonna do a big, big video where I put all my videos together. So like you can like watch a flashback of all, all the videos I've done. So this video will be in there. So if you guys like this video, subscribe and stuff. Sorry if I'm saying subscribing too much. I'm just like really excited because I hear it, when you get a hundred thousand subscribers, you get the silver play button. I really want that. But it doesn't really matter, actually. I just want I just want you guys to like my videos. That's all. But you got the doppelganger. She's here. I actually can't show you all of them now. I just thought about it. Doppelganger, you remember she's... Oh, God. It's like all backwards for me. The doppelganger looks like an avatar. The doppelganger... Doppelganger is a fairly complicated card. Because she takes on the role and team of... Uh, of whatever card she views. If you haven't played with the most, if you haven't played this game ever, or only once or twice, don't use the doppelganger. Cause, cause, could you, cause, say if you got, okay, so the doppelganger, say if I'm the doppelganger, if the doppelganger wake up and look into another person's card, and you look at the drunk's card, and you don't know what the drunk does, you're in trouble. Because, so, like, say if you played this four or five times, like I have, you can use the doppelganger. But if you haven't played the game ever yet, don't use the doppelganger. So doppelganger wakes up before the other one night rolls. So she'll wake up before any of these guys. Well, there's way more cards. I just don't want to hold them all. Um, Village Tanner or Hunter. She's now that role and does nothing else at night. Werewolf or Mason. She wakes up with the other werewolves or masons when they are called. She is on the werewolf team if she views a werewolf and on the village team if she views masons. Here, Robert Troublemaker drunk. She immediately does that role action. She does not wake up again with the original role when it is called. Minion, at the end of the doppelganger phrase, the announcer tells the doppelganger to, to close her eyes unless she is now a minion and that werewolf should put their thumbs up. She is on the werewolf team. Insomniac. After the insomniac closes her eyes, the doppelganger 
the doppelganger Insomniac is woken up to check her card to see if she still has a doppelganger. The player receives a doppelganger card. During the night, she is the role of the doppelganger originally viewed. The doppelganger script at night is a little different than most, and she has to be told to look for werewolves if she is the minion and is woken up later at night if the insomniac is present. Use the follow script if there is no minion in the game. And then it tells you like the script if you don't have the um, app. The, the script is like the yellow pages. So I'm not going to read those because... Wait, do you want me to read them? I'll read them anyways. I don't know if you said yes or no because I can't hear you because I made this video ten, like 10 minutes and 52 seconds ago. Double Ganger, wake up and look at another player's card. You are now the role. If your new role has a night action, do it now. Doppelganger, close your eyes. If there's a minion in the game, use this script. Doppelganger, wake up and look at the other another player's card. You are now that role. If your new role has a night action, do it now. If you are now a minion, keep your eyes open, otherwise close them. Werewolf, stick out your thumb so the doppelganger minion can see who you are. Werewolf, put your thumbs away. Doppelganger, close your eyes. If there's an insomniac in the game, an insomniac, some of you guys know what an insomniac is. She has like weird dreams at night. I think so. Let me see here. Insomniac. I think that's insomniac makes up. Mm, don't say what it means. Here, I'll find out what an insomniac means. Hang on one second. So this video is a little longer than the other ones. I know my very very first one was 27 minutes. So yeah. I found out I can like search stuff up on my laptop and you guys can still see me so I'm like on uh, Google right now uh, so that's pretty cool that's not what I wanted the computer is a new is an old is a chrome so it's kind of weird. Herb, let's do the Urban Dictionary because it's like it says it's the best. One who suffers from sleep deprivation can also be related to stress. Ever since his family died, Cleus became an insomniac out of fear of being snuffed in his sleep by the mafia. What? Okay, this is weird. I have like the weirdest thing right now. So, uh, yeah, I think that's what a insomniac is, like, a person that can never sleep, and they're always afraid of stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, so, they always wake up to look at their cards, so say if you're a um, doppelganger slash insomniac, you look at your card and when they say insomniac, wake up and look at your card, play with the insomniac card, opens her eyes, or his eyes, and looks at his or her own to see if it has changed during the night. And tell me, yeah, close your eyes. The following, and then it, then the, so the rules that do actually can do things are the doppelganger, the werewolf, the minion, the mason, the seer, the robber, and the troublemaker. Those are the only things that can do things. The other one and the drunk and then Samiac. Uh, the things they can't do anything are the villager, the tanner, and the hunter. The villager has no special abilities, but he's definitely not, not a werewolf. Players must often claim to be a villager. The villager is on the village team. There's a village team. The tanner hates his job so much that he wants to die. The tanner only, wants, only wins if he dies. If the tanner dies and no werewolf dies, the, werewolf, the werewolves do not win. If the tanner tanner dies and a werewolf also dies, the village team wins too. The tanner is considered a member of the village, but is not on their team. So if the tanner dies, when all werewolves are in the center, the village team loses. The tanner is not on the werewolf or the villager team. So they, he just wants to die. The like he literally just is like, goodbye world. Just kill himself. Get. Goodbye. Night night. And then there's the hunter. If the hunter dies, the person he's pointing at dies as well. Regardless, how many votes his target receives. The hunter is on the villages team. So say if I'm playing with my buddy Bob, my buddy Bob's like, go say hi. Well, you can't really see me, but just imagine me right now. 
then I'm playing with my other friends, <laughs> playing with my other friends at the table, and stuff like that. So if I'm the hunter, I don't think I'm crazy because I like showed you them and say, hey guys, playing with my other friends. No, I don't. It's just like say if there are actual people there. I don't. I'm not like. I don't have. I'm not trying to be mean, but if you, I'm not. I don't have imaginary friends. I do. So yeah. Um. So. So say if I was playing with them and I was the hunter and everybody points at me and I point at this other guy, I'm gonna die. So is that other guy. It doesn't matter how many votes he got. And then the villain, and then, and then the Mason's kind of a weird one because he just looks for other Masons. If he doesn't find one, he just goes back to sleep. I know I need to look for other Masons. Masons, Masons. Let's see here. Let's see if it says anything about Masons. Okay, so that actually does make a little sense. So there's always supposed to be two masons in the game. Say you say uh, my buddy Bob has the werewolf card and I have the mason card, and I didn't see another mason at the table with me. I know it's in the middle. So if he's so if I grab a mason token and he grabs a mason token, the werewolf grabs one, then I know he's the werewolf because he's lying to me. He's lying, because I know there are no other Masons in this whole little area. Because both Masons are supposed to wake up. So, that's what that does. Um, Hunter, I went through all of them, didn't I? Oh yeah, no. Um, that night all werewolves open their eyes and look for other werewolves. If no, no one else opens their eyes and, and the other werewolves are in the center. Werewolves are on the, on the werewolf team. Werewolf option. If there is only one werewolf, the werewolf may view one center card. This is this extremely beneficial to a werewolf who doesn't have a partner and provides him useful to the deceiving the rest of the players. So if you're a werewolf and you have a mason in the middle, then you'll see the mason and the mason knows that there's a mason in the middle. You're kind of, it kind of doesn't mean anything. But say if you see like a robber in the middle, I'll tell you what a robber is in a minute. You see a robber in the middle and nobody else knows that there's a robber. Be like, yep, I'm the robber. Just lie. Because this is a buffing game. Bluffing. Pfft. Buffering, yes. Buffering. It's bu 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 Buffering it, yeah. Just kidding. It You're supposed to lie this game. Only if you're the werewolf, Tanner. Not them. That's only people that actually need to lie. And the minion, of course, needs to lie. Uh, then you have the Sierra and Night Sierra may look either at one of the other players' cards or at two of the center cards, but but does not move them. The Sierra's on the village team at night. Now I'm talking about the robber. I'm sorry if I'm going to talk to you a little fast. Um, if you are watching my video and you can comment, please comment and tell me um, if I, I, in the next year or so, I'm going to do a reading my comments video. So please send in comments. I would love comments. Uh, at night, the robber may choose to rob a card from another player and place his robber card where the other card was. Then the robber looks at his new card. The player who receives the robber card is now on, is on the village team. The robber is on the team of the card he takes. However, he does not do the action of his role at night. The robber chooses, so say if, um, here, let me find a robber. Robber. Ooh, really is there a troublemaker? This is a robber. Robber. Okay, I'm the robber. My buddy Bob is here. Okay, so my buddy Bob's a robber. I'm a robber, and my buddy is a seer. And it says, Robber. Wake up! You may exchange your card with another player's card, then be in your card. So I'll be like, I want Bob's card, I want to see what he is. So I'll very quietly grab Bob's card, switch it around, so now he'll have the robber card. I'll look at my card, I'm the seer, but seer goes right before the robber, so you don't do the robber's action. But say, if I got the troublemaker card, I'll tell you what it is as soon as I'm done talking about the robber. So if I got the, um, Troublemaker, I don't do the troublemaker. The trouble, 
used to be Troublemaker, that's her job, but I don't do the Troublemaker's job. Okay, now I'm the Troublemaker. And then the Troublemaker may switch the cards of two other players without looking at those cards. The players who receive a different card are now the role and team of their new card, and even though they don't know that role, that is until the end of the game. The Troublemaker is on the village team. And then that's it. So... If I didn't tell you about the drawing and then some, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I told you about it, most of them, though. Um, so, thank you for watching my video, and have a wonderful day. Subscribe and comment those videos, because I'm in a year. So, I give you a long time. Comment on one of my videos, please. I want to comment. So, I don't have comments yet, so give me comments, please. Please, and if you're if you're part of my family in fa on Facebook and or your friends on me on Facebook, you don't have to actually be a YouTuber to a uh, comment. So I'm gonna send everybody in my videos so you guys can YouTube, you guys can subscribe. Please, anybody that wants to subscribe, please just subscribe right down there. Please, that's all I want from you guys. Please subscribe. Have a wonderful day and. Have a good life, and I'll make another video soon. So thank you for watching my video, and have a day. Have a good day.